I'm Jack, uh, I play guitar and sing in Cypher 16. The Black Star amp that I use uh, is and has always been a Series 1 200. Um, it was one of the first amps that I ever bought that was kind of a proper amp and for me it was a big step up in terms of the band becoming serious um, and us becoming kind of touring unit. Uh, I chose it because I found myself at Sonosphere Festival years ago um, and made friends with uh, Joel, who's one of the guys at Black Star. He let me uh, go backstage with them and try out uh, a bunch of their amps in the Series 1. I kind of plugged it in, dialed it in very, very quickly and instantly went, yeah, that's, that's the one for me. Uh, I like Black Star amps because uh, of the tone, the power. Uh, I like the customer service and I like having a good working relationship with all the people in the company. Um, and I like their ethos, growing from obviously a very small and non-existent company to begin with um, to something that's, you know, they're world leaders now in terms of, you know, if you, if you run up five amp companies against each other, Black Star's always going to be high up on that list. Black Star in a live situation. Um, it's always been great for me. Uh, my two, obviously, I've got a Series 1 200, um, which is yeah obscenely powerful. Sometimes too much, actually, but it's it's always been um, rugged on the road. Uh, never had any problems with breakages. It's always something that people come up and talk to me about. It's you know it's a big stage presence uh, and and it cuts through live. Um, we tune to drop A, so we have a very very heavy, quite dense sound, uh, and the 200 cuts through a lot of the the kind of low, low, murky bass that's often happening um, and just delivers kick-ass tone the whole time. We've used Black Star in the studio um, numerous times on the last the last two EPs, uh, the Metaphorical Apocalypse and the Determine EP. Uh, they, the, the Series 1 came out um, on both of those records, uh, not over the entire record, but it was used heavily throughout for lead, rhythm, clean, the clean on the Series 1 is, is killer. Uh, we were called with Dan Weller, who some people might know from Sick, um, and he, in his studio, he had an artisan, which we used for a lot of clean stuff and some of the kind of crunchy settings, and then the Series 1 for a lot of lead and rhythm stuff, the heavier, heavier side. I place the ISF on about 60%, so I guess 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, when I started playing, I always I watched the Metallica instructional video where the guy said, turn your mid off pretty much and turn your gain up to 10 and turn your treble and bass up to 10. So a very scooped sound and I'm gradually learning that scooped is not everything and I'm, I'm kind of gearing towards a less scooped out sound. Um, and so bringing it a bit back towards the British side, but it's, it's a slow process and I'm still uh, leaning towards the American uh, way of doing things at the moment. Uh, my relationship with Black Star has, also, has, has always been awesome. Um, as I say, when I, when I first uh, was introduced to the company, it was through Joel, uh, the artist liaison guy who's, who's been there from the beginning and still doing a great job. He's always treated us really, really well, even when we were probably too small a band to be, to be endorsed by you guys. Um, but he's always uh, lent us whatever gear we wanted. When we did the big Battersea Power Station shoot at, um, for Lonely Road, for the Lonely Road video, I said, we're shooting at this huge power station we need. We can't be playing half stacks. We need a, a you know, a double, double stack rig on each side. And, you know, came, came out with all these outrageous demands and, you know, ideas for what we wanted. He said, fine, it's got to look good. It's got to look like it's in, you know, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna, to um, hold up against the, the, the magnitude of this power station we were in. So he sent us uh, double stacks, huge rigs, uh, which we did the video for, um, and it, it looks fantastic. So whenever, whenever we need anything, Black Star always there for us. We've done, uh, in current touring plans, we've done uh, a lot of Europe this year. Uh, now it's festival season, so we've got a couple of festivals to do, and then September we uh, are going to start tracking the big debut album. Um, so that's going to take up 
a, a chunk of the end of the year. Uh, but we also have offers to, to go out and tour in, uh, well, five or six other countries this year. So we're going to try and do as much as we can before the end of the year. Um, but mainly concentrating on the album and getting it out first quarter 2015. Check out, uh, for the plug side of things, check out uh, cypher16.net. Obviously our Facebook, which is cypher16, C-Y-P-H-E-R-1-6. Um, we are playing The Underworld in London. It's a big headline show for us on September the 19th. Um, and apart from that, you'll probably see us in a field somewhere. Uh, we'll be at Sonosphere uh, in a couple of weeks. So we'll catch you guys there.